Have you noticed the new electric car charging stations throughout Volusia County? Reporter Joanne Magley has more about this green energy initiative in today's Volusia Here and Now. If you've purchased or are thinking about purchasing an electric vehicle, maybe to be more green or to save some green at the gas station, it's now easier to recharge your ride here in Volusia County. There are nine new and public charging stations in the county. Six of those are in the city of DeLand. We're trying to be a leader and have everybody try to follow what we're trying to do. Mike Grabose is the assistant to the city manager in DeLand. There are three charging stations on city property. A representative from Progress Energy came to my office and said we have a grant where we can install um, up to three um, charging stations for the city of Deland for public use, um, no charge to the city. And we looked at that and we looked at what we're doing with our, with our internal, with our city cars and um, what we're wanting to do for the city and we said we'd want to jump on board for that. Progress Energy will collect data from the charging stations to better understand how customers will charge electric vehicles and the impact of charging on the electric system. Grabose says the city of Deland wants to promote the subject of sustainability to as many people as possible and these charging stations are one way to do that. People with electric cars can pull up to one of these stations, plug in the charger and then go about their business. The stations and the five city electric vehicles were paid for through a grant from the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant Program which empowers local communities to make strategic investments to meet the nation's long-term goals for energy independence and leadership on climate change. In that grant we were able to do um, energy retrofits of city buildings, energy retrofits of some private buildings, um, some private businesses. We were also able to uh, obtain these vehicles and we were also able to do energy audits um, for many uh, residents in the city. There are also two charging stations on the campus of Stetson University and one at DeLand Nissan. In Daytona Beach, there's a station at the Daytona Nissan and at Buffalo Wild Wings on International Speedway Boulevard. And in Port Orange, there is a charging station at the Country Inn and Suites off of Dunlawton Avenue. Progress Energy will own, operate, and monitor the charging stations during a year-long research period. Ownership and responsibility will then transfer to the sponsoring locations once the research ends. The electricity used to charge the vehicles is paid for by the sponsoring location. The only thing we're paying is the energy bill. That's it, and it's about 40 cents an hour when they're running. That cost, combined with zero emissions from the car and a fuel savings of nearly $10,000 in five years, makes the purchase of an electric vehicle something to consider. For Volusia Here and Now, I'm Joanne Magley. For more information on the Energy Initiative, you can visit the website progress-energy.com slash plugin.